What is up, 50 Fierce and Fit Fam? I decided to re-record my live video from last night on shift work nutrition because there was a lot of you asking for it who weren't able to be there. So I'm going to give out to you a quick snippet of what we talked about. So hopefully this will be helpful for you and you can still use it even though you guys weren't able to attend the live meeting last night, which was awesome, by the way. So my main reasons for doing shift work nutrition are because of these few problems. One is because you struggle to find time to eat while you're at work because you're running call to call, avoiding the fast food or trying to, um, and or relying on it. It's a double-edged sword there. And then typically you have lack of energy, you're feeling sluggish during shift, which over time without resolving these issues usually results in some weight gain, your uniform spitting tighter. Um, if you're used to getting in and out of a patrol car, maybe ambulance or, or um, fire truck, you're feeling like your mobility is limited um, and you're often out of breath when you're at work doing simple tasks and things like that. So foundationally speaking, there's a couple things to hit here. You want to plan ahead with groceries and meal prep. You want to make sure you're getting in mostly whole foods when you're going to the grocery store, things that are naturally occurring in nature. And also you're following that 80-20 rule of 80% of the time you're cooking foods at home, eating things that you brought, 20% of the time eating out and working towards that balanced plate template, which is included in the guide itself that I created. So a couple things um, with planning ahead. You want to try to get your first meal of the day in either before you get to work or right when you get to work. So depending on shift work, that's going to be your breakfast because um, that's the first meal of the day. So we'll just call it breakfast. You want to make sure you're getting in 30 grams of protein within that meal. So that can be like some overnight oats with some protein powder, a couple quick eggs, scrambled. Um, what else? Greek yogurt parfait. Those are great for a couple of quick grams of protein, usually 15, 20 grams of protein in those. You can add in fruit, granola, things like that. Next, you're going to have a meal with you to pack and take with you to work. That's going to be where you've prepped ahead. Great thing to use there is some crock pot chicken. You can cook that in bulk or, or use the Instapot, but you can cook that in bulk. You can grab some frozen steamable veggies from the grocery store, throw those together in a lunchbox, and you have your meal for the day. You can also work like a burrito bowl, Asian dish, something that's going to have your starchy carb, your veggies, your cooked protein, uh, maybe top it with some sauce. Super easy to pack, super easy to mix up throughout the week so it's not getting super boring or mundane for you also. And then your third meal, this is where it's going to vary depending on what shift you're on. Um, for your evening shift or midnight shift workers, when you're typically trying to eat a meal and go to bed, you can either split it up where you're eating a smaller meal towards the end of shift. So maybe having to pack a little bit extra towards the end of shift. So there's some time between your last meal and going to bed, or you're eating something smaller right before you get to bed, like a PB and J or maybe like a turkey and cheese roll up, something that isn't going to sit on your stomach overnight and make it difficult to fall asleep. So one of the myths there is, is as I'm going to confront here is that people think that you can't eat after a certain time at night or you'll gain weight or you can't lose fat or whatever. Completely false. Um, so don't worry about what time it is that you're eating because ultimately you need to fuel your body for what your schedule is because your schedule is probably not the norm for most people, If you're especially if you're working um, overnight in some degree or you're working a 24, 48, things like that. So the more important thing there is if, if you're eating right before bed, you want to make sure that it's a smaller meal. That way um, it's not affecting you being able to fall asleep or your overall sleep quality because sleep is super important to help with your recovery. So without getting into a rabbit hole there on sleep, which could be a whole other topic there. Last thing is always keep snacks with you. You never want to get stuck out on a call or something that's super long, maybe stuck at the hospital where you don't have food. Because what happens is you end up scarfing down whatever it is you can get your hands on next, um, which is typically a cheeseburger or something quick. And then you feel gross afterwards. At least that's how it is for me. So keep your snacks with you. Try to focus on protein with those snacks, like protein bars, protein powders. Um, you can do beef jerky, any sort of granola bars, raw fruit, veggies, crackers, nuts, hummus, things like that are great to take with you. Greek yogurt too. You can always have your lunchbox with you that has a cold pack in it for the shift to keep something cold if you need to. Um, maybe store your other food in the fridge if you can, or just pack it with a bunch of cold packs if you got to keep it with you all shift, just depending on what works for you. 
So those are the main tips for you. That's a quick hit summary of what we went over. Um, obviously on the call, I went a lot more in depth with some of those things and answer some questions from those who attended. So that was awesome to meet you guys and interact with you as well on that. Um, but I do have a shift work nutrition guide, which is the nuts and bolts of all of the stuff that I can give out to you. If you'd like more information, um, you can always shoot me a DM and I will get that info to you so you can use it to your benefit and hopefully start working to improve your life, your health, your fitness, nutrition, all of those things. Stay safe out there. If you have any questions, always happy to talk, shoot me a DM. Otherwise, I'll catch you later. See ya.